No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today I'm having a conversation with someone who I have been in the headlines with. Oops. Over the past week or two, Melissa Stratton is on the couch. How are you doing today? Hey guys, I'm good. I'm good. How okay. how are you dealing with this new rush of attention, the likes of uh, which I guess you've probably never really dealt with before? No, not at all. I mean, I like to kind of like stay in my fun little adult industry world. This is a very different kind of sphere where my name's been lately and I wasn't expecting or used to the amount of hate that I've gotten. Mm. You know, I do get a lot of hate online for what I do, so that's okay, but this is just like a whole other level. Yeah, being an adult star, you can only get so much hate from like within the adult star world, but then yeah. as soon as you really start to hit those headlines, you get a totally yeah. different taste of what the world thinks totally of you. Totally different taste. <laughs> and they're very creative too. I feel like it's not just like people calling me a ho or like whatever. I'm used to that. That's okay. It's like very creative insults mm. that I was like, damn, that hurt more than I thought it would. <laughs> you will be miserable forever. You will never find yeah. love. Yes. Everybody in your life for the rest of your yes. life will be ashamed of you. Mm -hmm. um, for me personally, you know, I'm weathered enough that none of these really land yeah. but i could imagine for a normal person it might be a little tough from time to time am i normal i mean a person who hasn't been completely blitzed with the True. media assault you've had your fair share of the blitz yeah definitely i can only imagine so okay mm. how did you start hanging out with sean evans let's let's start from the beginning of this whole tale you want to know i do i want to know how you guys met you have been at the start and at the end of this okay the start so, yeah you ready for this so the very first time he messaged me he dm'd me on insta and um it was at your birthday party your plug talk no jumper birthday party he was not there no he wasn't there he dm'd me while i was at the party and i remember that because i was like oh my god like I'm a, I'm a fan of the show. Everyone's a fan of Hot Ones. Like, I right. really respect him, and I think he's really smart. That's usually my type. So I was like, oh, my God, this can't possibly be him. So I showed my girlfriends that were there with me, like, oh, my God, look at this, you know. And it was funny because he said, um, he was like, hey, just curious, were you into bald guys? And I was like, oh, my God, I got to think of something funny to say back. So we all were like, okay, say, like, like, well, do you know who Johnny Sins is, you right. know? So that was the first time that he talked to me. And how do you think that he uh, discovered you? Was it from like, was it potentially from me tagging you at the party or like just no. other people tagging you at the party? Or you think he just happened to be digging around? I think he happened to be digging around. I, I really don't know. I asked him that. He just said on Insta, you know, so I was just like, okay, like I'm not that hard to find. Okay. But yeah. And had you ever really dealt with like a famous dude before or was this kind of the most famous dude that you've dealt with? Um, I would say he's definitely the most well known. Okay. Guy. Yeah. I mean, like I said, like, I really do keep my personal life private. I don't really like blab about everything, but like mm -hmm. this was the first person that like I went out in public with and we were like, you know, like going places and doing things together. So So what was the yeah. first hangout like and and where to take place? Okay, first hangout was in Chicago cuz that's where he's from and that's where I'm at. Okay. So we met up that weekend. So I think it's funny like if you took a picture with Sean in the past couple months in Chicago, I took that photo for you. Right. You know what I mean? People would be like, here, take take a picture. Of <laughs> and I'd be like, okay. So you, you were hanging out for a month or a couple months? A couple months, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And what, what was the first date like? What kind of things does a, a Sean Evans type character and a Melissa Stratton do on a we're, first date? We're very normal. I'm really kind of like nerdy too. So we just like went out to dinner, went to the museum. It's like my favorite uh -huh. um, in Chicago. And yeah, we just kind of like walked around the city and hung out. So. And how much porn conversation was there? How long did it take? A before? lot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's who I am. That's what I'm proud of. That's what I do. Like, I'm not trying to hide that from uh -huh. anyone. And I don't want anyone that's with me to want to hide that either, you know? And like, what were his comments about it, though? Did he seem intrigued by it, weirded out by no, it? No, kind of uninterested, really. He was like, yeah, it's cool, whatever. Like, it's fine, mm. you know? So I think looking back now, I don't think he realized what he was getting into, even though I would— ask him you know like i even to this day i don't think he ever googled me mm. like i don't think he saw my content i don't think i was like i think he thought like okay she's a porn star whatever but like a like a don't ask don't tell kind of thing which i'm not really that comfortable with and like when i would have a big like win or success or or like a new scene come out i'd want to share that with him mm -hmm. and he'd be polite about it but he wasn't into it at all so he never gave you an indication that he had actually watched your stuff not really, no. I can relate to that because I had a girl that I hung out with for a few months prior to being with Lena, and she was a pretty big porn star at the time, yeah. and I... 
kind of liked her and mm-hmm. I just sort of like lived oblivious to her content for a yeah. period of time just didn't check it out yeah and then we got in a big fight one night and I was like you know what I'm going to the hub and I'm gonna yeah. watch her get what fucked. was your reaction it it made me feel better about the fact that we were in a big fight like yeah, watching yeah. her take 10 nuts to the face just yeah. kind of Felt like, okay, now I feel a little bit better about yeah. this whole thing. <laughs> um, but okay, so everything was good for a couple of months. Would you say that you guys were actually dating or what was it like? No, it was a slow start. I didn't feel like we were really dating until we like went to the Super Bowl and he's like introducing me as his girlfriend. Really? Okay, so yeah. how does that conversation start? What do you mean? The the let's go to the Super Bowl conversation. Because if you were attempting oh. to keep the, the relationship low key, hanging out in Chicago, going to restaurants and museums and shit, mm-hmm. No problem. Easy to stay low key. Yeah. As soon as you go to the Super Bowl, it's like the greatest media circus of the year. Right? I know. I know. Right. So like I I inferred like this is fine, mm-hmm. you know, and I would ask him like even when we were in L.A. and like going to dinner and like doing stuff, I'd be like, let's take a let's take a picture. Let's do this. Over. And then I'd be like, I'm going to post that. Is that OK? And he'd be like, yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Like I always asked and made sure it was OK with him. So whatever. But um, I. So he was in a commercial and was like, he actually shot the commercial when we were like talking. We were like kind of dating or hanging out or whatever. And um, he was really proud of it. I was like, that's so cool. I got to see like some behind the scenes and whatever. And he was like, part of the gig is they're giving me tickets to the Super Bowl. And I was like, that's amazing. Like the Chiefs are going. Actually, at the time, I don't think we knew the Chiefs were going to make it there. So, and I'm a huge fan. Like I lived in KC for a while. Like I've always been a Chiefs fan. I love it. So, I was really excited. So then when they got in, he was like, do you want to go with me? And I was like, are you sure you don't want to take like one of your guy friends, some of your family? Like, is there anyone? And he was like, no, I really want to take you. I think we'd have a great time. And did you guys ever have the conversation about posting each other prior to going to Vegas? Because mm-hmm. you hadn't posted him before this, correct? Before um, the Super Bowl Yeah, weekend? I guess I, I hadn't tagged him. Okay. Like, I think he'd been like in like the background or like his hands or like maybe like you could see something but yeah i hadn't like tagged him yet okay you know? and so the super bowl weekend thing was great yeah it was fantastic we had a ton of fun we went around to like so many events like it was what three days and uh-huh. we were we were together the whole time at every single one of these events taking photos and talking to people right so and did did you guys ever have a conversation about basically the fact that his job and his career in some way sort of necessitates him keeping a clean image and that anything even no. slightly sketchy is probably not going to be good when you're like the face of this gigantic brand? Um, yes and no. Like his brand isn't that sensitive to him having a squeaky clean image, in my opinion. Like I think you do have to be sensitive about, you know, the, the age group of your audience, like that sort of thing. But there is some, there's quite a bit of overlap between his show demographics and content that I do. So mm. it's you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think, um, he didn't have a problem with me posting him. He was mm-hmm. tagged in the things that I posted. It was mostly just my IG story, you know, cause I wasn't trying to like brag. I was just proud of the person that I was with you because know? And okay. the person that gave me that opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. Like, right. Most people don't really get to experience that. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, cause so the way that I found out about it was Lena mentioning it to me and yeah. she said, Hey, I seen Melissa Stratton post on these photos with Sean Evans. I'm like, I saw that too. She goes, but I also looked at Sean's and I noticed I know. he didn't post anything. I know. And I said, huh, that is well, interesting. Well, well, well. Okay. So the thing is, Sean doesn't post a lot in general mm-hmm. and he doesn't post his personal life. So I didn't really think anything of it. Mm. Like he just, that's just not his brand on social. Me, I post a little bit more real content behind the scenes what i'm actually doing you know as an only fans girl very much it becomes part of your nature to post yeah. on social media as possible as much as possible because the whole job yeah. is to draw attention to yourself yeah. and kind of always be that. reminding I'd be like, hang on i gotta take some titty pics in the bathroom and like put them on my of page like he he was aware of like my job and what i was doing and taking photos for you mm-hmm. know so i don't know it's all good i just think like when push comes to shove like you you think you're going to be fine with it and then you change your mind and that's totally okay. Right. Like I get it. If this is not for you, don't waste my time. But so the whole time you were in Vegas at the Super Bowl, all good, then I believe it yeah. was like Monday morning, all the meme accounts yeah. and the news accounts and stuff start posting a photo that's of you together and say yeah. that you guys are dating and that's when the whole thing really starts to pop off. Mm-hmm. Uh 
was this an intentional in any way? Or? No, no, definitely not. And I think the thing that hurts my feelings the most is people think it's a PR stunt and they think that I did it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, fun little fact is that he had texted me on Monday night and was like, hey, you might want to take some of your photos down because I'm getting a lot of heat. And I was like, oh, like, all right, way to say that you're embarrassed to be seen with me. Like that kind of like made me upset, but I just turned my phone off and went to bed. And that makes me feel like he was kind of naive to the whole thing because it's like, yeah, I can take down some of my racy Instagram photos, but it's not going to change my Pornhub search results. They or... already have it screenshotted. They already have, like, I was like, what What are you talking about? But and whatever's on your Instagram is not anywhere near as, as grotesque or no. uh, extreme as stuff that you've done on camera, right? Right, yeah. Uh, grotesque so, probably wasn't the right word, grotesque. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shocking, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, sorry, that's not uh, a good graphic, word. Graphic, graphic, was graphic the word you're is good, yeah. Yeah, and that's okay. But um, so what I'm trying to say is he knew about this coverage, whatever story, before I did, but like didn't tell me. Mm. You know what I mean? I thought he was just like kind of trying to maybe be mean a little bit. Like, mm. you know what? I didn't really want to be seen with you, so take all that down. And I was like, what the fuck? Like whatever, go to bed the next morning I wake up and it's all over the news. So I had, I would have appreciated if he had said, hey, this is getting picked up. We need to make a statement or can you like wipe your socials? Can you go private? Like if he had told me like why or whatever, then maybe it would have turned out a little different. But, but so you would have been willing to wipe your Instagram just to wipe keep my this Instagram, relationship going? But like, no, but I think like I would have been more sensitive to it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like if it's like, I'm not going to let anybody control me or tell me what to do or like take down my stuff. But at the same time, like if you are getting heat, if it's your affecting your job, that's not my goal. Like, I don't want that for you. I didn't want that for him. So yeah, I probably would have adjusted some things. Yeah. I mean, I think if you approach a woman with a, uh, listen, this is going to be weird for me. I'm a little bit, you know, cautious. If you were to show a little yeah. bit of your emotional side, then maybe you would have been a little bit more accommodating. Yeah. Whereas instead he just sort of let it happen. Yeah. Right? He was just kind of like, okay, whatever. You know, I was like, if you really cared, have me sign an NDA. Mm. I'll stay out of all the photos. Like, I'm like, if you really cared, there are way, way different ways to handle this. And I think he just kind of like, didn't think, I think one of the things too is I don't, think that he realized how much porn I'd done, how much studio porn I'd done. I'm not just an OnlyFans girl. Like I'm kind of in every avenue of mm -hmm. adult work. And so not every, but you know what I mean? Like I've done a lot of studio porn. That's why I call myself a porn star. And so I just, he's, he doesn't really watch it. He doesn't really like in general. So I don't think he really understood, but I was like, other people are gonna connect the dots. Even if you don't, mm -hmm. he was just like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, because like when the me, Lena, Jason Love story was going on, it was yeah. like, you know, people went through every single podcast that we ever did to find any instance in yeah. which I said that I wouldn't let another guy fuck her yeah. or whatever. It's like, you know, if, if once yeah. something like this happens, the internet sleuths are going to find every Everything. single thing possible. Yeah, And I mean, it's it's <sighs> kind of a shame because realistically, if you guys didn't do the Super Bowl thing, you probably could have kept seeing each other for many many more months before anybody would have yeah. given a shit because yeah. that's the weird thing about the position that he's in he's in he's on he's the host of one of the most popular shows on the internet but never really seen him in the gossip mill like never no. heard anybody talk about his personal life and no. that's a nice spot to be in yeah i'm somebody who's always kind of been like listen i'm trying to get well known so i'm going to use whatever avenue i can so if yeah. it's if it's gossip and drama fine You'll i'm gonna it. inject yeah. myself like into that mindset exactly yeah, he does not have that at all he's a very private person very chill maybe a little bit shy uh -huh. and to be honest i'm kind of the same way i think that's why we kind of like vibed on that uh -huh. you know but like now i'm not really given the choice like my info is everywhere you know people are in my business so it's like i I didn't provide any statements. I didn't like do anything. You're the first podcast or person I've talked to because you're the only one that asked or wanted to know. Really? You know, yeah. You think everybody else just kind of liked the simplified meme version? Of course they do. Everybody loves a train wreck and that's fine. You know, once you get into the nitty gritty of how it actually happened, maybe that's less it's not interesting. not as exciting. Yeah. No, I, I feel like they're going to appreciate this deep dive. We'll take a deep dive. Drop a comment yeah. down below if you appreciate the deep dive. <laughs> But um, wait for the innuendos on deep dive. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Maybe we should, we should take a step back. Oh god. <laughs> um, okay, so then the day comes where it's reported that you guys are seeing each other. Yeah. Then middle of the day, I send out my tweet where uh -huh. I say congratulations, Sean. Her pussy is fire. 
you tell me, was it the fact that the relationship was being acknowledged publicly or was it largely the fact that I acknowledged that I had a I know that you would love to take credit for breaking us up. I actually really don't. That would actually make me feel (laughs) terrible. And I've tried to like remind myself Uh when I'm listening to other people commentate on Mm -hmm. it of like, if you didn't say anything about this, it probably would have gone down a very similar way, right? Oh, yeah. If you hadn't said anything, I, we still would have broken it up. It still would have happened. Thank yeah, because okay. it was already getting tense when that first story came out. So it was totally fine. Okay. And here's here's the funny part for me, too. I would consider you a friend. We've worked together before. We've been at the same events. Mm-hmm. Like, I appreciate you and Lena. I totally get it. I get your vibe. I get what you do. And um, I, uh, I had asked Sean about you at one point. I can't remember why. I think I had said, like, I did plug talk or something. I was like, oh, do you know? Adam 22 and he's like oh yeah I know Adam 22 because me and Lena went out to dinner with him many many years ago oh really we had dinner one time never did each other's shows but we had dinner had a nice conversation and then basically I don't think I've talked to him since then okay yeah so he yeah he said he knew you and I was like oh do you like follow him like whatever and so that's so funny because I saw that he was following you Uh at the time I think we've both since been unfollowed but it's all good. Really? I didn't actually check. Uh-huh, I think yeah. I DM'd him as well and he didn't respond. Yes. <laughs> I think that ship has sailed. But, <laughs> but. <laughs> no more friends. No, Fuck. yeah. No, so he was following you. He knew about you. Like, whatever. Okay. And so when you, you asked me, like, do you think this is funny? Should I post it? Before I posted the tweet saying that your pussy was fire, I asked you if you would yeah. find it funny. In part because <laughs> I just, in my head, assumed this can't. This isn't a real relationship. I, I I felt like I understood that you had a situation. I don't yeah. actually know the technical details of your situation, no. but I thought that you had a situation going. So I yeah. thought that this had to just be a hookup, and that it was being like erroneously reported by the media to be a relationship. Yeah. That's why I thought that that comment would be funny. And then yeah. as time goes by, I start to realize like, oh shit, it was a little more serious than yeah. I acknowledged. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. Now you did tell me it was okay though, because otherwise you I would did. Be, otherwise you would be in such a good place to just be like, "Fuck you, Adam. You're a fucking asshole. I never want anything to do with you." Again. Well, you are an asshole, and yes, fuck you. But you, you know, I'll, it's all good. It's all good. No hard feelings. Lena's but. very into me not uh, upsetting sex workers with my internet hijinks. So, yeah. like for sure, <laughs> she was my first concern. And we're as an well. easy target too. Yeah. Like I feel like we're very easy targets. I get it. But um, no, you had asked me, "Is this funny? Should I post it?" I said, "Yeah, go for it." Because a couple things. One. I thought we were all friends, acquaintances. You know, I thought he kind of understood your vibe. Mm-hmm. And then two, like, that is not even the worst thing that people are going to or had said about him and I at that point. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, if that's the straw that breaks the camel's back, then we got to end this now because it's it only gets worse. Mm. You know what I mean? Like people speculating and saying mean things about what I do and whatever. So like me just, saying like, her as far is way easier to deal with it's than, on the nice end of the spectrum right, of because crazy some things troll to say. is gonna say oh she is a wretched whore and yeah. look at these 10 cum shots that she you know they're, yeah. they're, there's there's like oh, a mean there was a version podcast of it we were reading the titles of all my Pornhub videos which is like oh don't do that <laughs> because all of those titles are like keywords right. for the algorithm so it's it's very graphic and not to like, mention <laughs> I don't know if you do this a lot, but a lot of porn girls, one of their main ways of self-promotion is that mm-hmm. they go on Twitter and they say the sluttiest thing they could possibly think of. Uh, you you don't do too much I'm of not, that? No, I don't do too much of that, but I'm sure I have. I'm sure if you deep dive, you'll find some stuff that is pretty wild. So Sometimes I see girls in the porn world tweeting stuff like, you know, God, I just want to get railed out by 10 dudes today. <laughs> and I'm kind of thinking in my head, like, that tweet is almost more you know, like more likely to affect your dating in the future yeah. than actually doing that yeah. thing. Somehow the tweet almost seems like, and, and good luck convincing a normal dude that this is just marketing, right? Uh, Yeah, no, for sure. The average I think, person's not going to really get that. Yeah. So, oh, that's what I was going to tell you too, that I think like the reason why Sean and I didn't talk a lot about my job and my career and what I was doing in specifics and stuff is I think we were truly trying to get to know each other. Mm. I think he really wanted to get to know me. And that's what all of our conversations centered around. We're like who we were as people, you know. I can see where he's coming from because you are, and this is not to be a dick rider or anything, but you're very beautiful. Thank you. And you have a very, very nice personality. Oh, thank and you. I do think that, you know, for sure I could see a lot of guys wanting to date you. When you're a public oh. figure, it does become a little bit more complicated because then you have to yeah. be willing to sort of 
go through this gauntlet of uh, you know a lot of different internet personalities shitting yeah. on you and whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so what was the conversation like where he told you like this is not gonna <laughs> work out? Brief, brief. Yeah, it was like can't can't. I, I'll keep that to myself, but it was brief and it was final. Okay, and, and we have not talked since. Wow, and was it mean spirited or was it apologetic? No, uh, he was upset for sure. Um, it was not apologetic. It was kind of like, and I understood. I mean, if anything, it was maybe a little bit mutual. Uh -huh. But I'm like, well, we could ride this out, you know. But whatever, you know, if you don't want to, that's fine. But um, I think the fact that it happened on Valentine's Day was like a total accident. Too. Oh yeah, he didn't. <laughs> He's not that kind of guy. He's not like mean. He wasn't trying to like purposely make it extra bad, but oh, that's where the chips fell. Right. Damn. And so, yeah. okay, like uh, since then, and and so that was just the end of it. It was just like the it, end. It, it all kind of just ended right Period, there. Period. Huh? Dot. Underlined. Damn. The end. Do you yeah. feel like this is like opening new doors for you though? Do you have more opportunities as a result? I know TMZ was just here. It's like the average oh, porn yeah. star doesn't get the TMZ pull up. Uh, a lot of doors opening, right? <laughs> Why me? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think a lot of people and companies have reached out, but I'm just trying to stay true to myself. And, you know, at the end of the day, I will always like like Sean and I'll always be a fan of the show and I don't want to hurt that in any way. You know, so is there going to be a Hot Ones parody? I don't know. Probably not. I you forgot. Know, Fuck. Like, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about having somebody <laughs> bring a bunch of wings in at the Hot Wings oh, Cafe everybody down the street. does now too. Yeah, there were there were some offers of like restaurants being like, "Can we send you like a bunch of wings and whatever?" And I just wasn't ready to make that content, you know, because like for as much as you want to say it was a publicity stunt, it definitely hurt my feelings. Because if know? you this do isn't what that, I want to be in the media for right. If you do that, then you basically are treating it like content, and everybody's going to assume, "Oh, the whole yeah. entire thing was a joke, and this yeah. was all OnlyFans promo." Yeah, and at that point, you're not going to be able to blame them for assuming that when you're playing into exactly, the joke like yeah. that. Right? And it's like I think I have more of a sense of humor about it now, so I can make some of those jokes, like whatever. But also, like. That's his brand. That's not mine. And I don't want to forever be known as, like, the girl that dated the Hot Ones guy. Mm. You know? Like, I've got way more going on than that. I mean, I have so much work that I'm really proud of that, like, you know, rubbing hot sauce on a dick just ain't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, next. <laughs> hot sauce on a dick. I wonder what that would feel like. Oh, man. I have heard some of the craziest, like like scenarios that people want to see and that one's one of them like, do you think okay so you were telling me before <laughs> though that he's not actually into the the hot sauce huh oh yeah i think that's that's well known he'll say that in oh, interviews yeah, so that, and okay. stuff yeah where he's like i don't eat wings unless it's for work you know right but it'd be funny because like we'd be hanging out we'd like go to a restaurant and the chef would like come out with like they would make him wings specifically like uh, and be like we made you something and right. he'd be like Thank you. <laughs> I'm really out here ordering the wings. Like, that's a great appetizer. Right? I got yeah. like a burger and fries. I'm getting the wings as an appetizer. Right? I'm a vegetarian. Oh, geez. So I that's... couldn't help there. But Damn, that's crazy. I know. Um. Okay, but so w in the fallout from this, like, did he, yeah. d he didn't acknowledge that my tweet and me giving my opinion of your he vagina actually acknowledged anything, mattered. and okay. that's totally fine. Like, you don't have to, but... Yeah, he didn't, um, he hasn't made any comment. Oh, yeah, and like in our conversation, your tweet wasn't mentioned. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That's so, what this is really all about, yeah. is if I should feel bad. Um, well, no, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> love when you are you feel a little guilty for, you know, giving people shit, so I'm not going to completely, like, take that all away from you, but yeah. So yeah, you like seeing me fault. be a little, a little human with it? I don't think, you, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, that's fair. I think yeah. a lot of people give me shit like that where they're mm -hmm. like you just come off so icy cold and like you don't have any feelings that it's kind of like enjoyable that's so funny that's not the to see you suffer a little yeah, bit i'm like suffer. like you really well, don't i think, think you I like feelings? it i think you like getting kicked when you're down a little bit getting kicked when i'm down <laughs> no i mean i don't mind getting kicked in general <laughs> but if you're like really down like like no. once you guys broke yeah. up then it starts to be like oh like this was a this was real yeah and b I might have been the cause of it and see <laughs> like now like people are continuing yeah. to sort of throw dirt on them like yeah. that just felt kind of nasty thanks for feeling bad but no it's uh it's all good and like I said like you asked me I thought it was funny I thought we were all friends and cool with it I thought he understood like your sense of humor mm. you know and maybe to this day he does because that wasn't the reason he 
I'm like, sure if he removed him himself him. from the scenario, he could probably acknowledge that the whole thing was pretty funny. But yeah, at this point, I think it's hilarious. So I hope he does too. I mean, you know? the, the whole thing about it is that we haven't really seen uh, an adult star in a successful relationship <sighs> with know. like a an NBA player, a, a star movie guy, a, a, a top level rapper or whatever and like you know certain people even like a freddie gibbs is like pretty well known and he was in this re relationship with uh destiny creams for a period of time mm -hmm. and they ended up having a kid it didn't end up working out but i saw how much shit he took for it as yeah. a rapper and it made me kind of like ah okay like we, we still haven't really found like the guy that's willing to be the porn star Husband yeah. on a large level, you you see the porn star baby daddies. Lana <laughs> Rhodes got a, a NBA baby daddy, yeah. But you don't necessarily like to see it being possible. And I'm still waiting to see, you know, I want I want to see Me a too, Le man. Leonardo DiCaprio with like a, a porn star wife. Fuck yeah, he doesn't seem like he's ready to settle Listen, down. Listen, like we're good people, and I don't think people understand like there's this level of like emotional evolution that you go through when you do like sex work or porn that like you save like the very real side of yourself just for the people that love you mm. so people think that you're just like hoeing it out for everybody but it's like my work is my work and then the people that i love get a very different version of me mm. so i don't know it's i want i want to see somebody happy in the media too but it wasn't my turn have you had a lot of guys swimming up in your dms that were like <laughs> much more high profile than perhaps you're used to yeah yeah any, for sure anyone interested no i'm not gonna name any names i learned my lesson i learned my lesson if you want to come in my dms it's a safe place okay mm. so you won't expose anyone that's actually no, really good enough i'm yeah. not gonna expose anyone that's not my because that's like a primary fear of a lot of guys when they go to dm a porn star for right? sure yeah for sure um I mean, unless like they were proud of me and wanted to like be real about it. But listen, I'm not into like a media relationship. Okay. It's too hard. I can't take the heat. I'm not Adam 22. Yeah. I'm just a nice girl from the Midwest. Jesus. Mm. So but, you're going to bang any of these celebrities that are swimming up in your DMs? I might. It sounds like fun. You know, I'm kind of on the rebound, but. Really? Yeah. So you're on the rebound. What, what does that <laughs> look like for you? Do you like hit the club? Are you on the dating apps? What are you doing? No, definitely. No, I always get kicked off the dating apps just because of who I am. So I don't know. I don't know how they like find me or figure it out. But like I've tried like Bumble, Tinder, Hinge, whatever. Like, no, I can't. I have they heard this from infinite girls on yeah. the dating apps that they just can't stay on there, that they just won't allow it. No. Yeah. They kick you off right away. So that doesn't work for me. Plus, I want people that uh, want to know me for me. So it's usually like friends of friends or mm -hmm. industry adjacent. I don't want to date another porn star. Our lives are really difficult. So I think you have to find somebody with a different type of difficult life, you mm -hmm. know, in terms of like schedule and, you know, health concerns and like all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, but plus I'm not ready either. You know, like I really did like Sean. I'm a relationship girl. I'm, I'm usually, I usually have someone that I'm sharing my life with. And I think that's why people are saying like, are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you this, do that? Because yeah, I normally have someone close to me because that's just what my personality is. But mm. this was the first time I kind of like took it public and I regret that. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. But that's the other thing too. I didn't really take it public. I'm referring to like the, the, um, like posting about it. You know? I mean, cause you could have potentially gone to the Super Bowl and not took photos together, not had him put his arm around you, not yeah. held hands, all these yeah. little things. And in that case, I mean, for me, that what kind would, of a relationship is that though? Right. That would be hard for me to like, do. Like how rude. Yeah. To just know? be acting like we're strangers while we're in the club or at, at the yeah. restaurant oh, or the whatever. Club photo. You want to hear about the club photo? Yeah. So that photo, so that was the after party of the after party of an event. So we all go in together. We're at like the booth behind the DJ or at, at the DJ's booth or whatever. And um, the the club photographer came up and took some pictures of some of the celebs that were sitting there that you guys have seen. And then he came back and was like, can I get a picture with you two? I think he was just trying to take pictures of girls, like whatever. But he saw that like Sean and I were like together and he's like, can I take a picture of you two? And I looked at Sean and I went, is that okay? Do you want a photo of us together? And he mm -hmm. goes, yeah, no problem. And like leans in. So not only did... We like we were asked if that photo was okay. I asked him. We took the picture. Then he had the photographer send him the photo, and then he also sent it to me. I was like, "Here, you can have this pic." So like, 
Sean facilitated all of that. It, it wasn't me in the club, like, oh, let me get a pick, you know? Like, and it seems for as like much as people would like to believe that. He's a really smart guy, so it's kind of hard to believe that he didn't see how this was eventually going to play out. Right? But I guess having not really, like, done the public drama media thing, maybe, maybe he just didn't really yeah. know. But that's a big joke because it's like that post-nut clarity. Mm. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. But it was months of nut, right? Months. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> okay i always have adult star females tell yeah. me that when they start dating a civilian that there's a, a litany of different cringy things that they say to them or 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 oh. behaviors that they exhibit huh. i'm just curious if sean evans gave you the oh well you fuck all these big dicks, so like i don't yeah. think you're gonna like my talk which i have just heard so many <laughs> girls say that that dudes will just be like really really like lacking confidence when they realize that you've guys with much larger yeah. penises right no quite the other way around i think sean has a lot to be confident about and he never like questioned that so so he's well in doubt i didn't say that really he's a he is a great guy there was a reason why i liked spending time with him how big is his penis <laughs> Go like this. <laughs> I never saw it. I don't know. How was the sex overall? Well, sex with me is fucking fantastic. I can confirm. So. But uh, <laughs> in terms of like with him, like how, how good of a, a partner was he in that regard? Um, I, let me say something like really cringy and cheesy, but I'm a Virgo and he's a Taurus and that's like a total match. So really take take that for what? So you're going to blame it on the signs. Yeah. <laughs> okay i like it yeah. that makes sense i mean like i said there was a reason why i really liked him mm. you know so yeah it's crazy yeah. um i think that was unexpected too what the the attention or the fact that you ended up liking him the fact that i ended up actually liking him and i mean i thought he really liked me so at you first know? you were like just kind of intrigued by the novelty of like ooh, i'm, oh, gonna, for sure. I'm gonna bang the hot wing guy and i think he did too he's like oh i'm gonna fucking take a porn star to dinner you know like ha ha but then we're like wait a second we should have a lot in common. We like spending time together. You know, there's like that energy match kind of thing, and it was really easy. You right. Know? So. Damn. Oh well. Um. Okay. So where do you go from here? Is it just business as usual, or anything new that you're leaning into in regards um, to all this? Yeah. You know, I've gotten like the most <laughs> response I've gotten was people want me to do feature dancing, mm. which is like um, where you go to like strip clubs and you do like stage dances like that are promoted i don't know get how. a laptop from sean evans's ex-girlfriend a lap dance okay yeah that's what you said laptop oh what did i yeah <laughs> my brain's falling i will apart. not be giving out laptops <laughs> but i will be dancing topless and i will do lap dances i'm shy i'm usually like you know in front of the camera and not like mm. touching strangers so that's like a new vibe for me but i love what i do i was actually a professional ballet dancer back in the day so really? i can throw down like i'm pretty graceful that's interesting and i don't mind performing so you'll see me on a stage soon that is funny because like lena got the feature dance offers back mm -hmm. in the day and at one point she was gonna do it yeah. and then she just ended up being like you know what like i just don't think this is me like i just it's can't scary. picture myself going in front of people and dancing yeah you know it's just like which to a lot of people probably would sound funny like oh you can suck multiple dicks out of time mm -hmm. but you can't dance on a stage and it's, it's a mean, different environment it's a different vibe but i think too i this is my job this is what i do and the offers that i've gotten the money is insane really? so i was like all right we'll do it yeah the the deal's not inked yet but there is a press release out of an offer that i got recently that i'm exploring so wow i'm happy yeah. for you because the Thank one th you. I, I said to lena like m like at least once in the past i was like you know i feel like i'm surprised Melissa isn't like bigger or like more well known. Like obviously you've been doing what? your thing forever, but I just Why do you say that? I just feel like you're like really hot and I was just surprised that you didn't have like the million followers. <laughs> you think yet everyone's at that hot point. though. No, I think you're really hot. <laughs> Thank you. You and the, the, the true Kate tag team. Like, oh my you two God, together. I, I love her. Is, yeah. I love her. That's your bestie? That's my bestie. Yeah. Shout out of the country right now. Is she really? Mm -hmm. She's always on an overseas sex mission. Oh, she's so busy. Yeah, overseas sex mission for sure. She likes a European guy, you know? Mm. Like she's always trying to like find somebody but um not you you don't think you could be with a european no i definitely could okay i love um like all things french so i go to france a lot i love mm. it there it's just really sexy i like that weird accent i know somebody from france you've been to france i know with. <laughs> <laughs> not to name any names but i do love 
every French performer in the industry is has Melissa Stratton as a fan. I don't know if I've Eiffel Towered you with a Frenchman before. I can't remember if that was you or somebody else. I don't else. think we did. No, that was Kate actually. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Did you guys actually like high five? Yes. Oh Jesus Christ. I know. Trouble. Um, a lot of guys can't fathom high five in the homie while you're both having sex. I find it insulting if you don't. Really? Yeah. Like. You guys should have that moment of like, oh my God, are we actually fucking doing this? How fucking lucky are we? Like, Men don't get a lot of chances to connect emotionally with each other. <laughs> so I think that you might as well seize the opportunity right there, right? <laughs> Bunch of freaks. I love it. Crazy. All right. Melissa yeah. Stratton, thank you so much for your time. What do you want the people to Thanks check out if they want to learn more about you? I don't know. Do your research however you want. I think I'm um, easier to find on Pornhub than ever before. And mm. My OnlyFans DMs are open. So definitely. There you go. Well, I appreciate you uh, coming on. Thanks for having me. Thanks for letting me kind of like, you know, air air some grievances here. And for the record, my plan was for this to be me, Lena, and Melissa yeah, what together. Yeah, happened to Lena? Well, because she couldn't justify rearranging her whole schedule uh, when there wasn't an OnlyFans scene as part of the deal. Fair so enough. that's like her yeah. primary moneymaker. But apparently you're so booked up that you didn't have time to take dick from me and Lena. I made, uh, I made a little a little slot in my schedule plus I don't know if I need to be taking dick from you anytime soon. So. Really? I'm on the I'm in the doghouse? A little bit. Or yeah. is that just too viral? It's too I think yeah, I like I said I'm not used to the backlash from all of that and I didn't want to stoke the fire mm. yet. Right. I definitely <laughs> wanted to like create a whole black room with the background and then maybe give myself a full shave and like uh -huh. dress like him, whatever that might entail yeah. and do the whole chicken wing thing. Like I would be down for all that, of but you would. maybe give it a little time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me, uh, let me heal a little bit, a little bit from this extravaganza. We'll see. Definitely. <laughs> all right, Melissa, thank you so much. Thanks Appreciate it. Me. No Jumber, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, and Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe, nojumber.com if you want to support. Wow. Thank you. <laughs>